or sausage? Uh, bacon. Bacon, please. Bacon it is? Yes, sir. Good morning, hikers. I'm here in this beautiful morning after a zero unplanned but eh, slightly contemplated zero day yesterday. It rained the entire day. We were at Middle Creek, Middle Creek Campground. Um, it's about a mile and a half, a little bit less off trail. We headed there, as you saw, at the end of our hike day before yesterday. Got a very reasonable uh, bunk rate, shower, laundry. We did, uh, they had hot food. I had an amazing cheeseburger and cheese fries and everything it was delicious. Milkshake. Uh, woke up yesterday morning at five, went outside, it was pouring rain. It didn't stop all day. It was so reasonable to stay there. And we just decided it's zero day. And not the best place to take a zero because there wasn't really anywhere to go. But in a way, that wasn't a bad thing. My body was a little bit tired. Um, my one hip flexor was kind of barking at me. And it had been eight days of hiking. Uh, granted, some one couple days were shorter miles, but still felt okay about taking that zero. And it worked out because I got incredible trail magic today. Uh, Fresh Grounds, who's this incredible trail angel that goes up and down the trail feeding people like gourmet breakfast and lunch uh happened to be in the area had seen some of our friends that are a couple days behind us asked who else was out here told them to give me his number i texted him yesterday and he said oh i'm a little bit too far from where you're at but i'll see you a couple days further south awesome this morning i get a text he's like hey i pulled in uh, to the campground. I'm going to do breakfast at Jennings Creek Trailhead. I'll give you a ride to the trailhead, which shaved a mile and a half off of my day. And I had the most incredible breakfast. Deep fried bacon, blueberry pancakes, eggs, potatoes, coffee, French press coffee, fresh ground. Unreal. Now I have a full belly and I got a bag of pancakes and bacon to go. I have a full belly. I have about 16 and change to the intended shelter and I gotta get moving. I think once I get up this main hill it shouldn't be too bad in terms of elevation. One can hope. Whatever it is, it was worth it. Fresh Crown, you're an angel. It was an incredible experience. Love chatting with you. And again, best bacon I ever ate in my life and I've eaten a lot of bacon. Taking a break here on the Blue Ridge Parkway. There is a garbage can. There's incredible views. Some weird looking clouds over there that don't look too happy. And leftovers, deep fried bacon, blueberry pancakes, and deep fried potatoes, courtesy of Fresh Grounds this morning. Cheers to a bacon break. I'm on the Blue Ridge Parkway. This is a beautiful view of the Peaks of Otter. Not sure why it's called that. They said possibly Cherokee called the peaks Atari, meaning high places. Quite beautiful. And you can see we're walking along a road, the Blue Ridge Parkway. I don't know where the trail goes. Hambone is lost. Um, here's a sign about the AT. They did it right. They said over 2,000 miles, so they don't have to uh, keep changing the sign. And we found the trail. We're going back into the woods. Beautiful overlooks today. Perfect weather. Back into the woods we go. My safe space. Too many people out here in cars. Hi, pretty. Hi, baby. Look at the baby. Baby wants to come over. Yeah, he does. He's like, can we go see if they have, like, snacks? Bacon? They might have snacks. Hi, pretty. Hi, sweetie.
I am about five, I don't know, five miles and change from camp, the Wilson Creek Shelter. And I got word from ahead of me that there is trail magic set up at one of the overlooks on Blue Ridge Parkway. And even though I am still beyond stuffed from this morning's food, I am really thirsty and craving Coke or dairy, as always. And, I mean, let's face it, I don't turn down snacks when offered. I'm about 0.4. It's at Harvey's Knob Overlook. I'm about 0.4 away. And this is when it comes in handy to have a fast hiking or camping partner that hikes way ahead <laughs> all the time. I get trail intel and uh, Hambone usually clears all the spider webs in the mornings. And uh, because I'm slow, I'm back here. And he can tell them, hey, she's 0.4 away. She's thirsty. Keep hanging out. I don't know what time they were going to pack up. Anyway, it's absolutely perfect hiking weather today. I've seen so many beautiful deer. And there's a nice cool breeze. It's slightly overcast. So the sun is not glaring. It's a beautiful day to be in the woods. I'm so lucky. Uh, this is a gigantic caterpillar. It looks like a puffy Cheeto. Hey, buddy. Where are you going? Not anywhere too fast. Are you going to like... I wonder if he's cold. Like... Are you cold? That is huge. It's really pretty though. Look at that. It's very fuzzy. Hello. Just had more trail magic from Alan, who is a wonderful guy. He's been doing this for 20 plus years. And I... I'm embarrassed to tell you that I ate three hot dogs and two sodas and an orange. I am definitely not going to have to cook dinner tonight for sure. I am stuffed beyond belief and I still have about four and a half miles to camp, but it's nice and flat as you can see here. And if I do have any climbs, I will take them good and slow. I got really spoiled today with trail magic. It was incredible. I'm seeing some signs of fall behind me. You can see the red leaves. Uh, the, the woods are beautiful right now. Had some more excitement after the second trail magic. I was crossing the road and there was a professional photographer there that was taking some photos for the National Park Service, uh, social media or whatever, and asked if he could take uh, mine and Hambone's photo by the uh, valley or whatever and asking us about our through hikes and stuff like that. I doubt it'll show up anywhere. He just submits them to National Park Service and they probably they won't take them. Uh, or they may. I don't know. So I'll have to stay posted on that. <laughs> I'm like, whew, a lot of excitement this afternoon. But mainly I'm excited to be less than a mile from the shelter on a beautiful evening that I don't have to cook dinner because I have a uh, Leftovers from fresh grounds this morning, and I'm full of hot dogs from this afternoon. And also, I don't have to filter water because the reporter had two giant bottles of uh, Evian that he gave us. Uh, and I had already just topped off my water, uh, so it's very possible I may not even need to filter water. And that's a huge treat. That takes a long time. Looking forward to sleeping outside tonight should be a nice cool night for sleeping beautiful out here and uh a shortish 10 miles tomorrow to the beach hill hostel and b and b that is steps off the trail i'm looking forward to seeing that and uh seeing daleville virginia i love seeing these trail towns made it to wilson creek shelter